Hey there guys, um, this is um, Sam on the next YouTube video, uh, I will be doing the com I'll be doing the campaign today, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, like and subscribe, really help me out, uh, hope you enjoy the video, let's play. Hitler's war machine. I'll turn it out so you guys can hear it. It's now on the retreat. The allies in the west and Russia in the east were squeezing the tattered remnants of the Reich in a vice-like grip. Not too loud though, because the house, but uh, I'll put it a bit loud. The V2 rocket, a huge leap forward in the history of military technology. It was a weapon system to herald a new form of warfare. And you, faster than the speed of sound, it struck without warning. The Nazis launched over 3,000 rockets in a desperate attempt to reverse history. It was a terror weapon, fumbling and sites were overrun and pushed back out of range of England. But already, the Allies were looking to the future, to the next war. The Americans were gathering up the best of Germany's rocket scientists in the top secret operation Overcast. Many of the architects of the V-2 program had already been acquired, but not all. With Berlin encircled, Germany's last ditch defense falling back block by block, Total defeat only days away. Those scientists remaining in the city would soon be in Russian hands. My job was to make sure that didn't happen. Major General Hans von Eisenberg was negotiating in secret for safe passage for his team. Five of the V-2 program's top men he was meeting his Russian handler at the Brandenburg Gate. This was my chance to take him out before he could seal the deal. I was prepared, focused, confident. Little did I know, it would turn out to be the most difficult mission I'd ever undertaken. So guys, I had to do that. <laughs> I love doing that. Really? I did it again? Are you serious? That was stupid. I don't know why I had to do that again. It's never happened before. I did, I did that once and I still got through the mission.
Heisenberg was punctual and made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. I had a clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger was a good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. The square was well sheltered, so there was no wind to move about. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim. And then... Shoot. Lucky fella. I was actually in the Russian contact as well. Not well, he's gone.
was committed now. Both the Russians and the Germans would know I was in play. Four to go. Intel told me my next target was Dr. Gunter Kreidel, an expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V-2 production facility where the other three scientists were waiting. I'd identified a point on the route where I could lay a booby trap and stop the convoy. Naturally, the area was defended. I'd expect nothing less. Alright guys, I'm going to stop the video there, uh, see, um, hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like and favourite and I will see you in the next one. Um, I'm going to put these, uh, doesn't matter, sorry, uh, no, but um, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, see you on the next one.